and you can, uh, they're well served and well, um, you know, uh, uh, it looks a pleasant uh, view when they hand you the plate and that, you know, and it, you know, it's, a, it's a delicious meal anyway. But that's, uh, that's all there is there, as far as I'm concerned. There's nothing really constructive, mm. you know. So, so um, um, uh, they're at risk in my book and that, you know. Um, I, I've had a, um, an urge to start a, uh, a kind of Uncle Jack's big uh, men's shed, uh, men and women's shed that would be kind of the uh, Ninda Buyer workshop, something that we'd had running during the 70s a workshop, in the buy workshop. And uh, in it you can do all the, you can um, come in at six in the morning, get a feed, and um, um, if you didn't want to go out and wreck yourself, um, um, you, there was plenty to do at the gym. I, I mean, in the buy workshop, we had the gym there, move in there. Jock Austin was invited to, by Jan Chessels to move the original gym into the workshop, which he did. And so that was there for a little while. For a little while until it, they, they moved and found digs there on the corner of uh, George Street and that, you know. Um, but uh, you can do all the hobbies things there and, uh, you know, I'd like to set up a new initiative, a new one, uh, the Ninda Buyer Workshop, um, where, um, um, you know, you'd have all the hobbies things. I'd be, te you know, you could teach uh, ceramic there, I can teach ceramic. I know the prisoners that have come out that are in, back in our community now that have got a year 12 level in teaching qualifications in ceramics from jail. These people, you know, they're wandering around drinking their tits off, using drugs and that, because there's nothing of substance happening in their life by any of our services. So I'd like to, I've been trying to set up this, um, the Ninda Buyer workshop for uh, six years now. I've been trying. Somebody's reminded me it's been six years, Jack, since you've been trying, you know. And what's required, really? You need a space? I need, need space. Funding. I need space. And, and uh, funding to, to uh, set it up, and that, of course, too. And you know, I'd like to set it up close to our Neighbourhood Justice Centre. Our Neighbourhood Justice Centre on Wellington Street is, um, well, to me, it's the best thing that's happened in Collingwood since life's free. It, uh, the two judges and uh, magistrates that work there know many of the black fellows that appear before them and their crimes are minuscule, their jail times have been short and in essence most of them admit to their crimes because it's not that much. So they get counselled at this, um, at, at the gym, I mean at the, at the um, neighbourhood workshop. But there's an element missing. They're not um, um, being spoken to by people with the lived prison experience, like myself, with the, loved, uh, with, with the lived uh, criminal experience, like myself, with the lived uh, addiction, addictions experience, like myself, and that, like a rough uncle, and that. I know some rough aunties, too, that are genuine, that, are, that their voices can impact on young women, too. Uh, people like us should be uh, um, seriously uh, considered, you know, in the humanities down here in Victoria. And uh, I, I believe I've been shunned because of my criminal record, and I believe some part of me is being shunned because of, uh, of my uh, name, um, my, uh, uh, not only my, but I've been, I believe I've been wearing Aboriginal payback law, and that's, uh, I can't uh, divulge uh, much of that to you because I haven't uh, exposed uh, uh, why uh, why I've been uh, suffering Aboriginal payback law uh, since I've come into uh, Fitzroy and I've been since 17 and that. But uh, I've felt this all the time. So I haven't been able to uh, be taken seriously by our own organisations nor by any local or state government here in Victoria. I'm honoured for my performance arts as, a, uh, as an actor in Melbourne of many years standing. Um, but uh, um, I, if I had my druthers, I'd rather be doing something in the humanities. I'd rather be the public spokesperson for the Ninda Buyer Workshop. I mean, our director, Jan Chessels, Auntie Jan Chessels, you know, is waiting in the wings for me to, um, to um, con somebody, con the state, the local council, into, uh, uh, in, into give me a building, a space, and that. She's the... Um, She's the warmerer, and I'm the spearhead, and that. 
on this great adventure, Uncle Jack's uh, wet dream this is, you know. And, uh, but I'm passionate about this and uh, I, I, I think I'm starting to get a, a hearing from local council down in Richmond. Um, I, I would just love to share um, digs with um, uh, at Collingwood Tech with Circus Oz. I know that the Yarra Council have uh, allowed them to, uh, to use uh, some of the buildings at, uh, at the old uh, empty Collingwood uh, um, College there, Tate College. It's been empty lying doggo for many years and uh, um, I've been eyeing it, uh, you know, uh, for about five, five and a half years, uh, that building. Uh, but, you know, it's taken this long for them to start uh, um, perhaps uh, uh, listening to me. Um, I think, I'm, I, I, you know, I'd get a, a good, you know, a good hearing um, and sympathy. And I may get, um, you know, it wouldn't be much to give me a trial run, you know. It's, it's, it's location, 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 it's right in the heart, the migratory route of many of my mob in the Collingwood Flats and, and surrounding areas and that. So it's important, this, uh, this placement, this building, and that um, to, to start the Ninda Buy workshop. I've got another reason, uh, I've just come lately, why I should, um, why I should uh, uh, run with the Ninda Buy workshop. Many of these young ones at the gym, I plucked one once because somebody wanted me to pluck a young person for a television role. And I went to uh, the nearest bloke sitting behind the desk up there and I asked him would he be interested. And of course he was interested. And um, uh, the upshot was the uh, ABC, uh, the people that were working with him, were totally uh, you know, uh, blown away with his uh, ability to uh, um, to uh, um, take um, um, take um, uh, direction directions from a director and um, uh, at the drop of a hat and um, so and he, they liked the look of him and I chose somebody that they would like because uh, this boy had no uh, baggage been raised by a loving family uh, one of the great one of our great footballers and that. Uh, He's had to retire because of a bung knee. But uh, um, I see potential in this area because uh, while I asked him and that, and he was successful, now somebody else wants to use him, um, uh, others at the gym now are asking me, oh, uncle, can you get me something you know, <laughs> in the movies uh, or something like this? So that also tells me that I could perhaps, at the workshop, start running Uncle Jack's master classes perhaps in, in performance art. Uh, mm -hmm. I've got many, much, much material I can use. Uncle Jack Davis's poems from the West, his plays, I'd be able to use those because um, I'm part of a literary group looking after uh, Jack Davis's works, uh, mm -hmm. protecting them and, uh, and uh, I need to use, I, I'd you know, dearly love to read uh, his poems mm -hmm. and start um, you know, um, um, getting an interest in, in, you know, perhaps there are black writers in our communities, you know, down here in Melbourne, get them interested in poetry in performance art, perhaps they can write their own stories and um, with a view to publishing it or performing them. So um, that's my role in, uh, you know, as an elder down here, mate, you know. I've, um, as I said, I've touted myself as uh, when I shortly came out of jail, um, I often get uh, asked to protect um, women, they ring me up and I ride down on my electric scooter at extreme seniors pace at uh, uh, 15 miles an hour to the rescue and that and I uh, try and um, you know uh, um, stop uh, biffings and bashings of women in our community. That's my role as, a, as, a, uh, as, as an Aboriginal elder in the community. There's two there's too few of us that can do this, that are, or a silly like me that can do this, you know, or save up themselves like I am. I can do this because it's, uh, you know, it's put me at great risk with some of our more mercenary brothers and sisters, cousins of mine, who are, you know, struggling with their addictions. I know the power of addiction. I know that, uh, you know, it's uh, many, many of the people that uh, use, use drugs in our community.